Okay, I have been corrected. Incubus is still a band, and he is still the lead singer of the biggest band of the 90s and 2000s, Incubus, Brandon Boyd. Uh, they sold millions and millions of albums and toured the world, selling out shows. Now Brandon's got his own thing he's working on. Uh, he has a new book. It's called Sons of the Sea. Album's called the new music project. Is yeah. Sons of the Sea. Excuse yeah. moi. Yeah. The book is called So the Echo. Brandon Boyd has got a lot going on, and Incubus is alive and well. Thank you very much, Rosanna. <laughs> Brandon, I'm welcome sorry. to Good Day New York. Thank you very much. I just figured you had this like solo career that you kind of said goodbye to the rest of the band. No, no. There's still way too much fun in Incubus to uh, to leave. So. Do you want to make an announcement about when you guys are coming back together? Maybe a little. That I don't know, but okay. you know we've only been a band for. 22 years, so we still got some some life left in us. What defines the Incubus sound? What would you say? Wow, in a nutshell, I, I think we're we're a melodic kind of experimental rock band, um, but one that doesn't really have two highly distinctive parameters, or we can kind of do whatever we want. Um, cool. And even amongst that, there's still this desire to do other things, hence the Sons of the Sea project and the other stuff that the guys are doing as well. So. Can we talk about So the Echo? Yes, please. It's it's drawings and it's, it's like personal entries. It's almost, It almost feels like a little bit of a, a diary. Yeah. Is that what, what your... Uh, motive was for doing this? Sort of. You know, this is actually my third book. Um, the first two were a lot more. Let's look at this one for a second. Who is that? <laughs> Magilla Gorilla. Who is, uh, what's going on here? You drew this? Yes. yes. Oh, all right, I want to know everything about this picture. I like it. Well, actually, what's happening? It's a very large painting I did. Uh, it hangs in my brother's living room now. That's an orangutan, and he, uh, floated down on those clouds and is telling those kids to go back to school. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> and the kids are uh, kind of uh, apathetic. All right, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this I, you know, I, I don't know what this is. Uh, this is, uh, it comes from a series called Ectoplasm I did in 2008 where um, there's sort of spirit matter spilling from all places. And what's he smoking? It's a she, and she's just smoking a cigarette. Uh, oh, it's not a funny cigarette? It might be. Okay. You know what? You say you. she. You said I, it. I, <laughs> one of those serpents looks a little bit like a mustache, but uh, all right. That's Brandon, a, do you have formal training in, in art? No. None? I'm an untrained artist. I've taken art classes, but um, I, I never did very well. Was so. it something that you wanted to do as a kid? Because I yeah. know you were always interested. Did, did you get steered from with your family away from to be becoming an artist? No, um, I'm very, very fortunate and very grateful that I had a very supportive, to have a very supportive family um, in my sort of creative pursuits. So I, I always kind of knew that I wanted to be an artist and have been drawing. What's better, being an artist or being a rock star? Um, neither really sucked, to tell you the truth. <laughs> um, if you had to choose one for the rest of your life, huh? Wow, I don't know if I could, to tell you the truth. I'll give you a hint. The answer is rock star. <laughs> <laughs> rock star allows you to do other quite a stuff. few other things. Yeah. So, yes, Greg is intrigued by the groupies. Ah. Well, are, the, are the groupies good to you? That sounds like a breed of fish. The groupie, <laughs> aren't the grouper? No. How did you get into music? What was your big break? Um, you know, I kind of just I started this band with with two of my friends from from grade school, um, Michael Einziger and Jose Pasillas, and we started Incubus when we were 15. Oh so, my goodness! Well, we didn't know what we were doing. We just we were having fun and thought of the band name and it hasn't stopped. And what about that band name, Incubus? I know yeah. it's... Uh, what about it? Tell me. What, what is it? It's from literature, but what does it actually mean? Uh, if you look in a, in a modern dictionary, an Incubus is a, a, a spirit that descends upon um, people in their dreams and has sex with them in their dreams. Hey! Well, okay! Can I, I say that on TV? Yeah, of course you TV. can. Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh, did not know that. Should we ask yeah. you about the inspiration behind So the Echo? I mean... The title? The title. Mean? Sure. You know, um, there's a, a lovely old saying that, that says, uh, as the call, so the echo. And I always loved that saying, so... Good stuff, Brandon. Where do you live, by the way? I'm in uh, Los Angeles, California. Los Angeles, California? Yeah. Well, safe travels. Thank well, you. Well, we, we got a book signing, right? Are tonight, you, Tonight, yeah. where are you? I'm at Barnes & Noble in Tribeca. Fantastic. Barnes & Noble in Tribeca. Gosh, we're running out of bookstores, so it's great that Barnes is coming. <laughs> you know, know what I mean? Right? Thank you, All guys. All right, tonight, what time are you going to be there? Uh, from 6 on. You know what? We're going to put the inf information on myfoxny.com. Okay. Uh, click on the Good Day tab, and you'll be able to find where Brandon is tonight. He, he talks a lot about New York in this book, by the way. Well, Brandon. Seems very interested in it. <laughs> It's nice to meet you, man. You too. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much.